Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. You know, one of the uh, nice things about uh, this morning, uh, you know, the cold morning that it is, is you know, having that first fresh cup of coffee and a little bit of abuelita chocolate in that coffee. Oh, not, nothing better than that. But uh, welcome uh, to the swearing-in ceremony of Hidalgo County's uh, new judge, Richard F. Cortez. And it is amazing where we are as a county today, uh, considering uh, its beginnings way back in the, in the mid-1800s. And where we are today, you look at what's happening right outside the doors here, and it, it's just so awesome to see you know, how far along our county has, has come. And, and it's because of um, the great community that we, that we live in, the community of Hidalgo County, and the people that have made things happen in the county our elected officials. And on that note, I know there are quite a number of elected officials here this morning, so some of you might be standing, but for those who are s seated, uh, if you could just please stand and so we can recognize you as, as a group, all elected officials uh, present here this morning. Thank you for your service. Uh, it is good to see everybody here. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too long of a, of a ceremony here, but uh, in, nonetheless, uh, it's a nice program that we have lined up for you this morning. And uh, so we're going to begin uh, this morning's ceremony with the presentation of colors. And it is led by Vermin G. Hansen, American Legion Post 101, Far Texas, led by Assistant Veteran Service Officer and past District 18 Commander of Veterans of Foreign Wars, Felix Rodriguez. Formation of both colors. Present the colors. And now to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, Mia Chandra Hassan, Evan Chandra Hassan, Kalani Pace, Delphine Mangleshots, and Troy Mangleshots. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, arm, right, pace, forward, arm. Order, arm, as you were. Thank you, kids. About a nice round of applause for kids have led us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Is this the biggest group that you've appeared before? <laughs> Good to have you all here this morning. Now, you know, taking in uh, some history of, of what's happening in our county, so it's good to have you all here to experience that, to see that uh, in person. And now for the invocation, I want to bring up Reverend Greg Labus, pastor of St. Joseph's Catholic Church and school here in Edinburgh. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Let us stand as we ask God's blessing today. But first, hear these words from the first letter of Timothy. First of all, then, I ask that supplications, prayers, and petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. Let us pray. <coughs> Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed your glory to all nations, God of power and might, wisdom and justice, through you, authority is rightly administered, 
Laws are enacted and judgment is decreed. Assist with your spirit of counsel and fortitude our new county judge, Richard Cortez, that his administration may be conducted in righteousness and be eminently useful to your people over whom he presides. May he encourage due respect for virtue and religion and always seek the common good of the citizens of our county. Let the light of your divine wisdom direct his deliberations and shine forth in all the proceedings of the county court. May he seek to preserve peace, promote happiness for the citizens of Hidalgo County, and foster the blessings of liberty and equality in our area. We pray that Richard Cortez, who has been entrusted with our political welfare in Hidalgo County, may be enabled by your powerful protection to discharge his duties with honesty and ability. We likewise commend to your unbounded mercy all the citizens of Hidalgo County, that we may be blessed in the knowledge and sanctified in the observance of your holy law. May we be preserved in union and that peace which the world cannot give, and after enjoying the blessings of this life, be admitted to those which are eternal. We pray to you, who are Lord and God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father Greg. And now, uh, we, we please be seated. Now we come to the good part this morning. Um, and uh, the Honorable Israel Ramon Jr., 430th District Court Judge, will be leading the ceremony this morning in the swearing-in of Richard F. Cortez, new Hidalgo County Judge. So you have a few words uh, right before that. Judge, come on up. First of all, Happy New Year to everyone. And it's really an honor for me to be asked, you know, by our new county judge, Richard Cortez, to administer the oath. And I was asked this morning to say a few words. And I want to tell you that I attended nine swearing-ins yesterday. And Richard attended about 15. So he bypassed me. He was still at it. I talked to him about 5 o'clock, and he was still at Ricardo Rodriguez's or, or finishing up. So that shows you the endurance, and that shows you the commitment that he's going to have. But... I speak with you on a personal note because uh, Richard and I were born and raised in the same area, not only in the same area, but in the same house. When I, I can truly tell you that I've known him my entire life because when I was walking around in diapers, the, my uh, big brother that I never had, you know, was there a few years older and he was there guiding and talk to, talking to me at that time. So I've known him uh, for my entire life uh, after we moved from that house. Uh, he and uh, his parents moved to, to Kansas and 2nd Street in Wesico, and my parents uh, bought a house within 25 yards of him. So then the rest of our lives until we went to college, we were also there. So I can tell you that every now and then you have a dedicated person that is qualified, that is experienced, and that is willing to give to the public his entire life to make the commitments necessary, and it really, really is an honor for me to swear him in and to tell you that the county is lucky to have Richard Cortez because uh, he's, all his entire life, his entire life, he's dedicated to public accounting, to managing, uh, auditing different cities. I think he's audited every city in the county at least once, so... What better qualified person to have than my first cousin, Richard Cortez? So, at this particular time, I'm going to ask uh, Richard to come up here and uh, take the oath. I think they want you over here, sir. Okay. And uh, let's see. I There's was a Bible. You, you would put my better side and not my whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my New Year's resolutions, by the way. Somebody come up with the Bible? And whoever you'd like to be here, your family? 
Place your left hand in the Bible and raise your right hand. In the name and by authority of the state of Texas, and please repeat after me, I state your full name. I, Richard F. Cortez. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will faithfully execute. That will faithfully execute. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Of Hidalgo County Judge. Of Hidalgo County Judge. Of the state of Texas. Of the state of Texas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution. The Constitution. And the laws of the United States. The laws of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. It's now official. <laughs> Okay, before our county judge uh, gives his remarks, we're going to uh, have a little video presentation. So, so everybody may be seated. Judge, I want to make sure that we properly, officially welcome you to Hidalgo County. Uh, um, you're going to find that um, the county is full of intelligent, hardworking people that that uh, care about what happens. And I want to make sure that I extend our, my well wishes that wish you well in your tenure as our county judge. Judge Cortez, uh, we'd like to welcome you to Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court. We look forward to working with you and with you. And we look forward to the leadership that you will provide to our court on behalf of Precinct 1, all its employees and residents of Precinct 1. We'd like to say thank you for taking this challenge of leading our court. And we look forward to working with you over the next four years. Judge Cortez, welcome to the county. Welcome to our team. I'm really looking forward to working with you. It's been a long time coming. We've known that you're going to be our judge for over nine, ten months now. I'm looking forward to January. I think you and I share a lot of the same mentality, same opinions, and I think we're going to work really well together. Welcome to the team, and it's going to be a great four years. Welcome, Judge Cortez. We're looking forward to working with you for in Commissioner's Court for the next several years. Judge Cortez, on behalf of Precinct 4, I'm looking forward to working with you and your staff and the tremendous future we have planned for the citizens of Hidalgo County. Judge Cortez, I want to congratulate you on your successful bid for Judge of uh, Hidalgo County. I will be looking forward to working with you and uh, doing whatever we need to do to assist the uh, citizens of this county working together in conjunction with uh, the new administration. Again, uh, welcome and look forward to working with you. Judge, on behalf of the uh, Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office, I want to welcome you to uh, uh, county government. I look forward to working with you. Enjoyed the time we spent on the uh, campaign trail, but uh, now it's, uh, it's time to buckle down and get to work. Hello, everyone. This is Congressman Vicente Gonzalez wishing you a happy 2019 full of health and prosperity. I'd also like to wish my good friend and incoming county judge, Richard Cortez, all the success uh, moving our county forward. I look forward to working with you and improving not only Hidalgo County, but our entire region. Uh, Richard, thank you for your commitment and may God continue to bless you. Hello, on behalf of my district, Texas 28, congratulations on your recent victory as Hidalgo County judge. As fellow Texans, I know we share a commitment to public service and common sense problem solving. A career in public office is among the most rewarding ways to give back to one's community and stay true to our shared Texan values. I look forward to working closely with you to serve the constituents we represent and advocate for their best interest. My door is always open to you and your staff. Working together, I know we can achieve a great deal for the taxpayers and the families living in our communities. I look forward to a strong partnership with you and your office and wish you the best in the coming months. Judge Cortez, you are truly a friend of mine. 
God bless you. Judge Cortez, congratulations and good luck on this incoming year, this incoming term on making the greatest difference that I know you can possibly make. Uh, you've always been a mentor and I do wish you the best and always will be around if you ever need anything. Judge, congratulations again. As much as I enjoyed uh, hitting the campaign trail with you, all that is now behind us. Uh, I look forward to working with you. I know that you've got some great ideas for Hidalgo County and we will, together we will make this be a better place. Thank you. Judge Cortez, on behalf of myself and the Hidalgo County District Attorney's Office, I'd like to congratulate you on being elected as a Hidalgo County Judge. Uh, both of us know that you have a huge responsibility uh, besides serving the citizens of this great county, but also making the best decisions uh, and in the best interest for our citizens of this county. And I want to tell you that we are here to help you in any way that we can, for you to be able to be as efficient and as effective as you can in making those decisions for the citizens of this county. So again, congratulations to you to your family, and we're looking forward uh, to you being the next Hidalgo County judge uh, and serving the great citizens of this county. God bless you. Judge Cortez, welcome to Hidalgo County. This is your county now, and although we've known you for years, we expect that same leadership you've shown us for years to be the same leadership you use to direct us in the direction our county is going. They say wisdom comes from intelligence, from knowledge, from experience, filtered straight through the heart. So I know you bring a lot of wisdom. You've got a big heart and you've got a lot of experience. Welcome. Well, first I want to start by, by thanking my, my first cousin, Israel Ramon, for swearing me in today. And he touched on something that's very important, you know, to me, it should be very important to all of us. You know, one is God's gifts to us, who was family. And when we were growing up, he's absolutely right. Uh, we had um, a father, mother, two married uncles, and three unmarried aunts, and three unmarried uh, uncles living in the same house. And of course, each one had our bathroom for ourselves. No, we only had one. <laughs> but uh, so, so we were taught uh, 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 time management very, very quickly, very, very quickly <laughs> in life. And, and you know, some, some say, well, golly, that must have been hard. It wasn't. It was some of the fondest memories I have because it shows the importance of family. It shows the importance of people loving one another. It shows the importance of doing things for one another. The older, the older, the older people wanted the younger ones to get an education. None of them had an education, but after that, everyone got a college, got a college education. So those are very, very good, very good memories. So speaking of family, you've already met my two daughters. We all please stand up. I'm, I'm very proud of them. We all stand up here. <clears throat> My, my, my two sons had, a, had, had planned a, a vacation this time, uh, time ago, so they're enjoying themselves in some sunny place, but that's okay. I'll punish them when, uh, when they get back. <laughs> <laughs> and what can I say about Father Labus? You know, what, what, a, what a beautiful prayer. Thank you, Father. It, it was wonderful. It, it's great to have you as a family friend, as a friend for, for, for many, many years. And wow, the elected officials here. You know, I think this is a pretty neat place, and a lot of it really is because of the representation we've had. Our Congressman Ruben Hosa, our, our Senator Julian Hosa, and all of you out there, they've just done an outstanding job in really representing us well. And I look very, very much to working with you and making things uh, even better. And all of you out here, uh, here to, to be here, uh, to me, it tells me that you care. It tells me that you care about your community that you want good government, you want good things to happen, and you're excited about hopefully that we can make things better in the future. So a lot of you helped me in my campaign. Uh, some of you may not have helped me in my campaign, but that's okay. Uh, you're, you're now all my children, so, so it, it, really, it, really, it really doesn't matter to me. I look forward to working with all of you. And what can I say about my predecessor? Uh, he was a tremendous county judge. I want to thank him for his years of service. Uh, as I was going to be evidently the next county judge, 
he was concerned about his staff. He was concerned about the people that worked for him. And he wanted me to make sure that I looked at all of them because he didn't want anyone to be misplaced. And as I was talking to people about the judge, you know, there were very warm comments and very warm uh, words spoken about him, which really is a great tribute to him. And hopefully that when I leave office, uh, you all have some kind words about me. Uh, but, <laughs> but I wish him best of luck with his next chapter of his life. Uh, he's obviously a very successful attorney, and I'm sure he'll con continue to do that. And now his son has even joined him, so I see good things to happen there. And, of course, Commissioner Palacios, you know, another outgoing commissioner that's leaving, was here with us, I believe, eight years. Uh, he's also a person that I, that I work well with, and I wish him the very best in, in the future. Well, everybody was wondering, well, what's, what's the start for the future? Well, let me tell you where I want to start. Many lives are impacted by county government. If you have a mentally ill person, county government will touch your life. If you have a flooding in your colonia, county government will touch your life. If you are sick and poor and have no insurance, county government will touch your life. If you've been wronged by someone, county government will touch your life. If you're concerned about your safety, about your, 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 your property in the rural areas, county government will play a role. Why do I say this? Because county government is important. What was even more important is how and what we do with it. So to me, so much of what we do, evidenced by results of elections, is about the money we spend. And we have a duty as a government. We have a duty to two parts of the population. We have a duty to the taxpayers, because that's where the money comes from. It's okay for us to spend our money, but they want us to spend it wisely, efficiently, and effectively. So that cannot be a bad goal. You all agree? Okay. Because the other part that we hurt by not being efficient and effective is the people we serve. Because if we have less money because we're not using it wisely, there's, there's less services to give to the people that depend on us. So how do we do that? Well, there's a science to running a business. There's a science to buying. There's a science to doing business. Let's, let's try to use science as best as we can to help in, in those decisions. You can't always use it, but it gives you the, the best opportunity of success. The second part is, you can't solve budgetary problems simply by cutting expenses. You don't have to go to Harvard or even Texas A&M, which is a very good school, I hear. <laughs> but uh, just for you to, <laughs> hey, they both won this, this, this time, so they're both good. Uh, <clears throat> you don't solve budgetary problems simply by cutting expenses, because really, anybody can do that. It doesn't take any intelligence is smart, you just I'm not going to spend. Okay? But the best way to solve budgetary problems is to grow your revenues. So how are we going to grow our revenues in Hidalgo County? Well, we're very unique. That unique can be our strength or it can be our weakness. Who decides whether it's a strength or a weakness? We do. It's a weakness when we don't work together. And it's a strength when we work together. See, God's plan was very simple. If everybody helps everybody, then anybody in need, their needs would always be fulfilled because everybody wants to help that. So I think that we are a metropolitan area. And sometimes we've been competing with one another. 
and that's okay. But the future is going to force us to be better. It's going to force us to come together because we're now competing globally. We're competing globally. The jobs of tomorrow are not the jobs of today. So how do we prepare ourselves for the future? I have the workforce manager here. We have to find out what the jobs of the future are. And how many communities can, can sit here today and say, I want to invest in jobs that don't exist today? Boy, that's scary, isn't it? How do you train people for jobs that don't exist today? Well, that's exactly what I think we should do. Because as people throughout the world and are, are, are producing automation, robotics, and stuff like that, where are they going to go when they're going to they're going to touch with the people that can provide services for them to do that? Okay, that's why a big part of administration is going to be identifying future investment in those things, because future investment is going to occur. Who would ever think that everybody? How many of you do not have one of these? Okay, who would ever thought? that we would live in a world that we, that we would have so much information in such a small part. Just imagine what the future is going to be. So to me, I'd like to close with this. I'm going to be dedicated to the job. I asked for it, so now I've got to do it. Uh, I want to be popular, but I didn't take this job to be popular. I took this job to do it. And if you all help me, if you all help me, and I'm going to be looking for, for human capital. I'm going to be looking for smart people because smart people and human capital produce innovation. Innovation produces good things. And together, we're not only going to make this county as best it can be, we are going to make it the best county. And I thank you for that. Thank you.